Just give me your name and um, the reason you're here. Um, I'm, I'm Paul Haynes and I'm, the reason for being here is, is that I, I'm about to start a walk from Rome to Jerusalem and um, the walk is going to be for peace. I've, I've officially called it peace and reconciliation. Yeah, I've, I've, the, the phrase voyage of discovery has come up quite strongly in the last few months um, because I've, I've realised that it has been five years where I've gone on these different walks and each one has fed to the next one and and it has been a, a voyage of discovery for myself um, finding out about pilgrimage walking finding out about the, the physical side of it um, how you actually do walk these these long lengths meeting all kinds of fascinating people um, either a long way or, or, or the fact that they're walking the fact that also that there are so many more people walking these routes. And I, I've got this sort of, when I came back from Rome last year, I had this sort of, in my mind, I had this visual image looking down on Europe, but broader Europe, um, with this crisscross of people walking all over the place. Obviously, the very popular one in Spain, but also now increasingly to Rome, and one or two more now to Jerusalem, and others walking in different directions. I mean, there's, you know, there's a, um, this year, there's a group of about 30 walking from Trondheim in Norway to Jerusalem, as an example. Um, so it's, it's incredible, absolutely amazing. But I decide about the charities I'm going to walk for by, um, well, the, firstly with Alzheimer's, it was because my mother had Alzheimer's and I, I do voluntary work for singing for the brain. And then also I, I love singing and, and music particularly. And I found, uh, I, I then came across the Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy Charity. So in fact, I walked for two charities. Well, I, I've got a cup, a silver cup, that, that I'm gonna be walking, taking in this rucksack with me to Jerusalem. And um, how that came about was that I'd uh, been talking to various different groups. Uh, one of them was the United Nations Corn Association. And when I was explaining to them what I was doing, they became quite interested because at least two of them had been at a, a peace chapel, uh, had been involved with the peace chapel near RAF St. Morgan. Um, and so I was told all about the, the, the peace chapel, um, and it was small but quite active. Um, and they then told me about uh, another chap called Paul um, who had been to the Peace Chapel in 1985, he, uh, he walked from that chapel to Jerusalem. And um, the person that told me about this then said, look, I, I'll, I'll loan you the diary, uh, his, his journal. So I've got his journal, which is a fascinating read, because um, they're not too sure where he is now. But, uh, so I've got this journal. And then in the same breath, uh, they produced this silver cup and said, we want you to take this to Jerusalem. And it's, the, it's a, a silver goblet or chalice or cup um, that was used in church services at the, at the Peace Chapel. And I, I, it, really, it was really quite, quite touching, quite humbling to think that they were giving me this, this cup that uh, had been used at the Peace Chapel and they wanted me to take it to Jerusalem. So I, I will take it with pride and bring it back. <laughs> yeah, the preparation, it, it's, it's a lot more uh, than previous walks. And I suppose the reason why it's a lot more is that it isn't a route that's um, a normal route. Uh, I, I've picked the route myself. Um, so I don't have a book that takes me from A to B, which I have done in the past. So I'm having to do a lot of research about different routes, um, where I would stay, because there's no, um, what, what would on other routes be called pilgrim accommodation, so I'll be finding my own accommodation. Um, the preparation is less so than before for what I take in terms of equipment, because it takes a lot of research to, to find the right kind of equipment, although each year you look to see whether there's something lighter. So my sleeping bag now is about half the, the weight of what it was last year. And you know, actually the route I chose was somewhat came out of my time in Italy last year. Um, so I was hearing so much about Assisi, so um, I planned to go there. And it's 
connection with St Francis and, and peace being a very important part of, of that. Uh, so I, I'll be going, walking from Rome to Assisi and then I'll walk across to Ancona and then across the sea to Split and then I'll walk down to a place called Medjugorje which is a pilgrimage centre again with very much with peace as its centre as well. Um, then I'll walk down the coast to a place called Dures in Albania and from there there's a, um, an, actually it's an old Roman route called the Via Ignatia um, and it's actually marked so I'll be following a, a route and I've got a book for that so that's quite handy um, and then I was recommended that I should go to Mount Athos uh, in Greece um, and it's a, I've, I've heard a lot about it and it's a, a peninsula with about 20 monasteries you, you have to get permission to go there so I'll have four days there um, and then I, I, I feel I've got a great affinity with Greece so I, I, I th instead of going through Turkey um, or down through Italy I thought I'd go through Greece and I'm going through the some Greek islands that, uh, that have monasteries on them that are the route that St Paul took. Um, then from Rhodes uh, I'll cross to Turkey uh, and then there's a route called the, um, the Lycian Way uh, which is a marked route and then uh, from there along the south coast to Cyprus across Cyprus and then hopefully I'll get a ferry but if not I might have to fly uh, to Israel and then Israel again as I say it's a bit of an open book so I'm aiming to spend four weeks there exploring as much as I can of Israel and Palestine. Yeah I've, I've sort of come across um, walking for a charity or now walking for a cause um, and it, 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 it's interesting because it, I, I, I've written, wrote somewhere um, that every pilgrim could be uh, a billboard for a cause because you've got a lot of people walking about rucksacks um, and I was just had this lovely idea well I thought it was a lovely idea <laughs> people walking with a cause you know on them um, it's been done before there was a couple that written a book about walking uh, with peace on them so I, I've cho I chose I um, chose Alzheimer's before, but I've chosen this particular image of, of a, a dove, a peace dove, and on the peace dove it's got the different words, uh, or peace, but in different languages. So I thought it was a good way that I could be walking through, people would see the word peace, see the image, and would want to find their translation for it, and hopefully then a discussion about peace. After the walk, it, it, it's a very much an open book, and, and I, I'm as a, well. I'm excited about all the parts of it. You know, the, the preparation, the, what's been going on, and also I can't wait to get walking. And every day is exciting. Uh, but also the, the and that's actually something came out when I, I I was asked to talk about pilgrimage last October with two other pilgrims at Canterbury Cathedral, uh, and I wrote something and then talked about the value, the, the, the wonderful things about pilgrimage. And the Archbishop of Canterbury was there and in his sermon he added something on to sort of what I'd said in his sermon, which was about the sharing of it afterwards, which I hadn't really thought too much about before. And um, I've sort of, I suppose maybe from hearing that, I, I've thought, well, when I come back, I hopefully will have lots of messages of peace. I would hopefully have talked to lots of people. Who knows what would have happened? I don't know, and that's exciting. And I think the other wonderful, exciting thing is I, I want something, and I hope I'll know what it is when I, by the time I come back to happen when I'm back, because uh, I will have messages of peace, hopefully lots, and I will have lots of stories to tell, um, and hopefully something will happen. Um, I'm not sure what yet. <laughs> There's some. Wonderful things you see, um, and and that goes across wh whoever you are and whatever faith. Um, there are wonderful people about, and I think by walking through and experiencing them, you do meet people, and you open up, and you have these wonderful experiences.